morning everybody today was a snow day for us so i thought i would pay tribute to the snow today and show you how i made this ornament so this is a rosette and we used to have a die that would cut this out for you but if you want to just do it yourself you can just cut whatever size you want this is three by 12 and it's scored at every half inch so you need two of those 3 by 12 pieces to make this uh, rosette. So I'm going to try to set this here so you can see it while I'm working on it. And this, I already um, put the two pieces together. And then all you have to do is you need to take something to make your hanger. And I just use this really pretty rope twine that comes in the Wonder and Wishes suite, which is beautiful. I use the paper from the suite. On one side it's embossed in gold and then the other side is in black and it's just so pretty. I used it for the poinsettias that I'm going to make the ornament out of. And what I did is I put a little bit of tape and you just have to make sure that you know when you put your hanger in you put it in the right way so that it hangs and it's not in the center or it's not going to help you any at all. So what you want to do is just put some double-sided tape and then put your rope and then come back with your um, double-sided tape and go over top of it so it'll hold it in place and then you can actually start forming your rosette. So let's put some of that in and get it all glued down. You might have to peel this piece and then put another um, piece of tape on the other side. Sorry, I know my fingers are probably in the way, but I'm just peeling the adhesive, um, the protective coating off of the tearing tape. So let's put a piece on the other side just so we have a nice, good bond. Should pull it off a little bit. Just lay it flat. Put another piece down. I just want it to stick really well. I hate for my stuff to come apart. You could, I guess, put some of your um, hot glue in there, but I kind of feel like it would give it too much. It wouldn't go together as well as you want it to. So just stick these two pieces together. Join the ends together and get them as straight as you can. Because, you know, you'll be able to see it. You want it to be nice and neat. Give it a good press. Just make sure it's nice and nice and tight. And then this is a fun part, trying to just make sure that it goes together and you have all your mountains and valleys. And it looks good. So then I've let my hot glue set for a while and you just come in and you just, you know, put as much in there as you think you're gonna need. Just put a pile of it in there. Watch your fingers that you don't stick them in it because it is pretty warm. So then just put your rosette, put your pieces together, hold it until that glue catches and cools. So usually what I do is I just cut a circle and it doesn't matter what size, you know, I think this is one and a quarter and then I just put some hot glue in the center just so it's going to catch the edges and then put your circle and just press it down. And that keeps it all together. Make sure your rosettes are, you know, how you want them. And you have all those little glue strings. And you just flip that over. It's taking a little bit of time to cool. Must be really hot. Yep, it's really hot. Just take a little bit of that glue out of there. You don't want it to be too messy. I can't, can't stand it when I can see all that mess. 
So that's another good thing about the circle. It kind of covers that up for you. And then come back in, get some more. Get it on your edges so that you get a nice seal. And then come in with your other circle and just press it down. Pump it down there. If you wanted to, probably what I'll do later when I come back, because I'm only going to have the ornament on one side of this. I would come back in and cover this so that it matches whichever side of the paper that I use. And I got my circle off because it was probably still warm when I flipped it over and it kind of um, moved a little bit on me, but that's okay. You know, and then you just decide where you want the ornament. So I made this one this was my first one that I made, and I did it on both sides, and I even did it so that the joy, the gold, was on the back. So I think this kind of looks like an angel with its wings. It's kind of cool. But, you know, just however you like them. And what I did is I just started cutting out. This is stuck to my table. I'm going to have to clean that later. But what I did is I just started cutting out the poinsettias from the poinsettia petals. And i just show you what I did with mine to keep them together. I just took some washi tape and I just put it over them so that they stay together. And then you can just crank them out as many as you want. And you don't have to worry about your dies moving. So just like the petals, I did it with this. And you can do it with any of them that fit together. Just put them together and then just take your washi tape and just tape right over it. And then you don't have to worry about fiddling with them every time that you cut them out. This is a beautiful bundle. If you haven't got it yet, you might want to think about getting it. So what I did is I cut it out in old olive. These are for the leaves, of course. You can use one or two. And then I use the Whisper White Thick cardstock. You could use the shimmery white cardstock, which would be pretty too. I just wanted the crisp white, like the snow. And the shimmer paper, it's beautiful and I love it, but it does have like a gold cast to it. So whatever you're going for, if you like it, because it would go with the cutouts from the um, Wonder and Wishes paper, which is really pretty. So just cut out as many as you want and then just start layering them. So I started with the Forever Gold Fern DSP and that's in our annual catalog. And I have used this on a lot of projects. So you can just figure out how you want it. Might be good just to lay it down and then see how you want it to look. Do you want them to look like wings? What do you want them to look like? And just start layering. And this is where your um, mat comes in handy because your glue will peel off of it. And these are the silicone mats that are in the annual catalog. I use these a lot. And I did post on my blog, I believe, seven different ways you can use your silicone mat. So just start layering. I'm going to come back in with another one because I want, I want it to be really full. Just lay that down. It had enough glue on it that it actually caught. So I have all these pieces and this is from the Forever Gold DSP sheets and you just pop them out. And then I also cut out some pieces in the red foil. I think a little pop of red in here would be nice. And you just layer them. You know, if you need to, need it to be shorter, you can just peel their legs off. Let's get a little bit of that glue off of there. I'm going to have a mess to clean up after this, but that's okay. That's the great thing. You can make a mess and then come back in and clean it. And it's all good. So then just start layering. You know, however you like it. Just so you have some um, height to it. I think it needs some height. 
So just lay this in here. If you need to, just use your bone folder or something so you don't stick your fingers in that hot glue. And I really do like the leaves that are in there. I think they're really pretty. So they add something to it as well. So let's pop one of those in there. Like the little pieces in there. Just keep layering. <clears throat> let's start out with the big white poinsettias. Put some glue in there. And you just want to offset it so you can see some of the green peeking through because you want to hint at the leaves. You can put, and then I come back in, dab of glue, and then put your Wonders and Wishes DSP. I just think it adds some more to that gold. And then however you want your pieces to be. You can pull these apart. Use them. Whatever you want, just to add some more. Put it on top. And then stick them down. So they don't move on you. Use your hot glue. I, I love the hot glue. So then come in with your next layer of white. Set it a little bit. You don't have to pull those strings off later. You know, you don't have to do it right now. You can. And I like, after I'm done, I'm going to add some more um, dimension to this by just popping the leaves up. And then come back in with your next poinsettia that you've cut out of the DSP. I just think it adds a lot to it keep layering. You can, I love these. These came from um, the sunflower bundle and then I cut it out of the In Good Taste. Um, it's the DSP that has all of the different colors in it. And no, that's not what it's called. It's the brushed metallic cardstock. Sorry. And it's got all your different colors in it. It's got gold and like a champagne and it's got a copper in it. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. And I think it's really pretty because it just adds a lot to it. Let's see the other one. Maybe this way. Now there's no right, wrong way to do this. It's just however you want it to look. Looks that way. I like it like that. Okay, you can add another pop of red if you want to. I think the red is just right in there. Whoops, sorry. Get a sample here. Okay. Come in with our next size. That's a good thing. There's a lot of different sizes to this poinsettia. Layering. I've got all kinds of pieces everywhere. Cut out more than you need, and that way you can just put it, you know, use it for your next project. If you don't use it for this one, use it for the next one. So then you come in with your smallest poinsettia. And the great thing about this, if you keep your hot glue to the center, you can come back in and then add more to if you don't have enough lift or enough leaves or whatever you want to add more that's a good thing you can come back in and you can just stick your pieces under because you've still got room under there so that's the great thing you can add to it you know you get it too full and you think hmm, you know you probably a couple pieces out if you don't want as much. So pull those strings off. And then the end, the icing to the cake are these little, um, what do they call them, beaded pearls. And these come with the poinsettia sweet. Aren't these just beautiful? You can color these if you want them to be yellow or another color with your blends. And just put some more Hot glue in the center and just pop that in there. 
and I'm not going to add this to my rosette yet because I'm not quite finished adding but I just wanted you to get the idea of how to make these you can just make them your own you could do this with snowflakes if you wanted to with our snowflake bundle but isn't that pretty this one's a little the rosette's a little small but that's okay you know this one it got a little bit bigger so however you cut it you know because this one obviously I cut a little bit bigger whatever size you cut your rosettes to be you know this one this one's even bigger so you can make them whatever size you want you, you can I'm sure you have some of those scissors that you can do the edges with if you want to put a pretty edge on it so let me know if you make any I'd like to see your creations you can post them and let me see so I hope you enjoyed this